Hey there, it's Samantha with Upamu. We're out in the field today playing with our tilt shift lenses. And Darwin is going to show you how to use the shift function on a tilt shift lens to correct a problem called keystoning. Let's go find him. Well, we found Darwin. Here he is, already hard at work. So let's see how Darwin corrects keystoning using the shift function with this building right here. Hey there, it's Darwin from Upamu. We're going to look at how we can use shift on the tilt shift lens to correct keystoning or perspective control. So anytime you have a camera that's pointed up or pointed down and you're photographing a subject that has straight lines like a building, you're going to get something called keystoning where the lines converge either out or bend into the frame. And we don't want our buildings falling over, we want nice straight buildings, even if we're photographing old buildings. So the way to correct that is simply make your camera back parallel to the subject you're photographing, in this case the building that's over here, and then you're going to shift the lens up to see the composition you want. Since we we're originally pointing the camera up, we obviously have to shift the lens up to see the building. And then we'll see how this looks inside the camera. So let's take a look at that now. So I see what you're trying to do here, Darwin, but I think there's a problem. This building looks like it's gonna fall right over. How do we fix that? Ah, oh, good question, Sam. The first thing we have to do to fix problems with converging lines, or this keystoning that we talked about, is we have to physically move our camera and lens combination. So I'm, I'm loosening the ball head on my tripod, and I'm pointing the camera and lens so that the camera back is parallel to the building. Now if you look closely at the left edge of the building and the left edge of the frame, they're perfectly parallel. I've corrected that parallax problem or that keystone problem. Yeah, but now we've introduced a new problem. This is a terrible composition. How do I get back to my original composition? Good question, Sam. This is where the shift feature comes in on our tilt shift lens. We can use the shift feature, there's a knob on the lens, and we can rotate the knob and the lens will go either down if we shift down and go down quite a ways, or we can shift the lens up and it can go up quite a ways. And obviously, in this case, we just wanted to shift the lens up to get our original composition, which is about there. Simple as that. Simple as that. 